An Indian author has said, Parents are living gods. They do everything to make their children happy, and they expect nothing in return. We totally agree with him. As a teenager, who we with love from our parents? Of course, we know how much they give in to us, but sometimes mom and dad can make mistakes in parenting, and they may make us quite uncomfortable. So me, Phan Lam Phuc, and my friend, Hồi Minh Quý, from class 91 from Birmingham Junior High School, make a small project to help every adult realize their invisible downside in parenting and give them way to solve the distance between parents and children. To begin with, we will have a confession about adult expectation. We found reserved to give an example. In a study conducted on 190 students from grade 11 to 12 from three private schools in Kolkata and three government-aided schools, it was found out that almost two-thirds of the students experienced pressure from their parents to perform better academically. As some normal teenagers, we always try our best to make ourselves better and to make our mom and half happier with us as well. But it seems like some parents want more than us and try to put us under the pressure. But that's not a very big deal until the pressure is so big that sometimes we couldn't stand it. I always wanted to please my parents, but having such an excessive expectation makes me extremely tired. I'm just a normal person. In addition, we are very fortunate because we were born in a time of peace, in an era of development. Everything has become better and more convenient. But it's not why we don't feel the difficulties of our parents during the war, chaos, and poverty. As time goes by, life changes, humanity innovates to improve our lives and help fix all the problems that you are complaining about. Instead of telling us why that we have already but not get better, since we're in a perfect age, this is also a quite sensitive period and it's easy for children to develop a if they are not respected and corrected properly. Furthermore, in the past, some people were affected by many false prejudices about power, family, and especially sexual orientation. And some of them have kept that lack accuracy way of thinking up to now. But if the children have a better idea about those prejudices, friends will object to it. For instance, some teenagers found that they are a part of LGBT community and like same gender relationship, etc. and they decide to come out with their parent and anyone. But some adults still think children don't know anything. Everyone should have at least a child and moreover relationship with the same gender are harmful. So they ban it. Even everyone will stop talking and thinking badly behind those teenagers. And they were thinking like, do you know me? Really know me? Do you have opinions about my opinions? I know what I'm doing. I deserve to do what I want. And then they have an argument against each other. Is it me? Is it really who I am? Finally, it's not because we're young. But we don't always focus on having fun like our parents used to say. We still have time for ourselves to think about everything. What the future will be like, how to please our parents, how to have a better life. Essential. We realized that we were no longer kids, and one day we had to leave our parents and had started our own career. It is said that the spirit of your success might definitely discuss your spirit of your and bringing parents. I always keep that quote in my mind. So that's just one thing I want to tell all parents if we know what we have to do and more or less have our own decision in life. And when parents let the children make their own decision, about things in their life. They can make them feel like they are being respected I mean, our adults. And Quy, do you have any ideas to solve this problem? Yes, of course. No matter what, parents only want the best for their children. So they think and do like that. Then first, before completing out everything with something but others, we also need to take a look at ourselves. If there are any mistakes, and if you have, fix it. So you don't disturb your parents too much. And what about parents, what they need to change? For me, the first measure is for parents to refrain from expressing their ego because there is nothing worse than two big egos with two opposing opinions. Then, do not compare your children with other children. 
People should pay attention to avoid it if you don't want your child to get hurt. And the last thing I want parents to know is respect your child's personal space. Because children will develop a greater sense of privacy and may be less likely to spend time with their parents as they did when they were children. Hope the above team to make will help you to accommodate your children to percent of growing effectively. And it's almost the end of the presentation, but before it's over, we will give a quote said by Dr. Tonya on a journey parents should act as a companion set goals together with the children and measure and build ways for the children to overcome difficulties and complete that journey. And of course, parents are still parents. They always love their children as much as they can. And if your mom or your dad make a mistake, just follow those methods will you help lesson. And that's how you preserve an anthem of the shorty called family. family. That's all we could talk to you right now. See, See ya, stay, stay safe, and, and good, good luck. Bye-bye.